the next session on Ansys Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to design an eClip using Design Modeler. The purpose of this eClip is to restrict the loosening of the components due to the rapid rotational motion. I will show you an image of this eClip. This is what we are trying to design. They are inserted into grooves placed on shafts to create a shoulder that retains the assembly. So you can see here on this shaft there is this e-clip which fits on it and it creates a shoulder which helps to retain this assembly. So we will be designing this e-clip and as you can see here the screwdriver is used to remove the e-clip from this structure. So we will design it using design modeler. I will first go to geometry option and double click on it. Next I will right click and go to new design modeler geometry. Units, millimeter, xy plane, look at. I will first go to sketching and choose circle. I will draw two circles here. I will give them dimensions. The inner circle is say 30 mm and the outer circle is say 50 mm. Next I will go to draw draw two lines and I'll draw a center line. I will give angle for these two lines. This angle will be 25 degree, this angle. So 360 minus 25 is 335 degree. So once this is done, I am going to choose modify trim and I will trim out these lines. So this shape has been obtained. Next I will go to modeling and extrude. I will choose sketch 1 and I will give a depth of 4mm generate. So this initial structure has been created. Now when you look at this diagram, there is this portion also which has to be created. So now I will create this one. So I will select this face, new plane, generate, look at, I will go to sketching. I will start with a circle. I will give dimension to the circle as 40 mm. Next, I will draw a line. Over here. And one line over here. Now I am going to give it dimensions, that is the distance between this point and this line. This 4.5. Also I will give the distance between this line and this point. 9.5 next i'll give angle between this and this so this angle i'm going to give as 145 so this will be 360 minus 145 that is 215
Also, I will give angle between this and this. This angle is say 32 degree. So now this angle will be 148. That is 180 minus 32. So this becomes 148. Now you have drawn on these, this side. You should draw the same thing on the other side. I will draw one more circle. And then I will choose line option. This is easily helping me draw these lines and just closing the structure. These lines have been created. Now I will go to modify and trim. So I'll remove the lines that I don't need. You can see these two structures have been made now. Once this is done, go to extrude. You can see the entire structures have been selected. Apply. I am going to cut material and not add material. And generate. So you can see the shape has been created. Once this is done, I am going to go to blend option. Fix radius. I will choose the radius as 1.5. And I'm going to give these fillets as you can see. These are all fillets. So I'm going to give this at the zone. Press Ctrl and select. Once I have selected all these edges, I will click on apply and then generate. So I will just go to sketch 2 and hide the sketch. Sketch 1 and hide the sketch. So this becomes a better view of the e-clip that you can see in the diagram. So if you just align this and this is what you obtain. So with this I end the session. I hope you have understood how to design an e-clip in design modeler of Ansys Workbench. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you. Thank you.